Let's take a look at number seven there, Bravo. Delay. Clarence Darrow and Leopold and Loeb. Boy, he saved those two guys from being hanged, didn't he? He did. Very clever move. Well, it's uh, he knew his way around a courtroom. You know, it's one of the few times he didn't have to give his pitch in front of a jury because he knew his two guys were going down the tubes. This is such a, I don't know whether you use the word famous or uh, infamous to describe this uh, this case and the trial that occurred as a result of it. Uh, there's been so many movies made about it and books written about it and plays done about it. It's, uh, it's really, as I say, both infamous and famous at the same time. Um, you know, in, the, in that era, pre-television, pre-radio, pre-internet, people actually showed up in court and watched court proceedings just as pure entertainment. And he was always a big, big draw. The court was always packed to hear him be uh, uh, trying cases because he was a, 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 you know, just one of the great orators of, of his day. Um, but we don't have this in there as a uh, tribute to Clarence Darrow. We have it more as a tribute to the tactic, tactic of delay in Landlord Tenant Court, which seems to me that's a pretty effective tactic. Can you talk a little, a little bit about, about this in terms of uh, what you what you uh, call the delay game? Sure. So, and we alluded to this a little bit before. Sometimes you can't defend against eviction. Sometimes the amount of money that's owed <clears throat> is just so great that you're not gonna win that. And in fact, if you start arguing against it, you might lose major credibility with the judge. Uh, and in those cases, your goal, I find as a, as a lawyer, is not to avoid the eviction because you can't avoid the judgment of possession. That's the order of eviction. Your goal is to gain the client as much time in the house or the, the apartment as they can get so that they can get enough money together and find somewhere else to live. You don't want them to be homeless right away because that would destroy them. So in those cases, sometimes your best argument is you get the judge to either extend the, the effective date of the judgment of possession. Sometimes judges will post date a JOP. So let's say you're in court on June 1st, he'll say, okay, I'm issuing a judgment of possession which is not to be executed until like July 15th, right? And only at that time can the uh, landlord apply for a warrant of removal. Because sometimes you can make that argument with the judge, sort of like Darrow did with the sentencing argument in Leopold and Loeb. It's sort of the, the second half of the equation. And then what happens is when the, the tenant applies for that hardship stay, then you can really make a big argument as to why they shouldn't be pushed out immediately. Now, they, these You should try and make some of these arguments before, like when you're asking for extra time before the judge. But really, when you make the hardship stay on the warrant of removal, that's really the tenant's time to, to, to shine. You can have a big certification, you have exhibits attached. Uh, and and as, a, as an attorney, you should really be working on that You know, the day after court, that hardship stay. It, it seems to me that this is really outside the scope of any RPC violation in uh, delaying litigation because you're really not delaying litigation. First of all, you're zealously representing your client and you're taking advantage of statutory and case law that is available to the for the benefit of your client. In fact, you might not be uh, doing your job as an attorney. You might be both uh, uh, show a lack of diligence and a lack of basically be uh, grossly negligent by not raising these defenses. So I don't see that there is an RPC issue here at all. I think you're just right. doing your job as uh, authorized by the legislature and by the uh, appellate division and the Supreme Court. Do you agree? I agree. Your job is to, you know, if, if, you're, uh, if you're Clarence Darrow, your job is to prevent your clients from being executed, whether it means they're convicted or not, because you're right. at the next level of the game. Sometimes when you're a landlord tenant attorney, the game isn't to avoid the eviction, it's to avoid homelessness.